doing for EcodeCamp, JavaScript algos and data structures. We completed basic JavaScript, so we're moving on to ES6, and we are in challenge 8 of 29. If you are still in basic JavaScript, check my channel. I have the full 113 challenges and solutions uh, in video form there. Uh, so today, what we're going to do is use the spread operator to evaluate arrays in place. So we just used the rest parameter in the previous challenge, and now we're going to use the spread operator. These are basically the same thing. Um, so yeah, this is what we're going to get into. So in ES6, we introduced the spread operator, which, allows to, which allows us to expand arrays and other expressions in place where multiple parameters or elements are expected. Okay. Uses apply to communicate or to compute the maximum value in the array. Okay. So forth. Okay. So copy all the contents of array one into array two using the spread operator. So uh, the spread operator, if you didn't see the last lesson, is the same as the rest operator. It's the dot 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 syntax, and then whatever the variables, wherever they're stored in, so dot 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 array. Uh, and all that does is, as you can see here, we have this array with four different values in it. If we say spread array, you're basically just copying all these values and putting them in where that spread operator is. It quite literally just unpacks them. So as you can see, uh, dot 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 array returns an unpacked array. In other words, it spreads the array, right? So all it does is it takes the array, whatever values are in there, you can imagine if we had more than four values here, like 400, this spread operator would be useful to just kind of grab the max and then spread the array so we can check all of the values within it so we didn't have to access all 400 of those values. So as you can see here in this example, it wants us to copy all the contents of array one into array two. So we have array one, all its contents, array two is defined, but not set to anything, so really it's undefined. And then we define array two as an array, an empty array, and we console log array two. So if we wanted to copy everything in array one, we can spread it quite easily with one line by just saying dot, 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 array one. And now you can see we're console logging array two, and it's the exact same values that are in array one because we spread them, which again, quite literally returns an unpacked array. Uh, and it's a copy of the array, quite, quite literally. So this data here, although it's the exact same data, is different, it's a copy of this data. So we're not actually mutating the original array. So that's all we should have to do for this one. If we check this solution, yep, it liked that, so we're good to go. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that's important to note about the spread operator, but yeah, I mean, that's really it. You take whatever variable or value holds the data, and you can just dot, dot, dot. You can just spread that value, and that will just copy all of the data within it into wherever you did that there. And you can read through these examples here uh, to see how they're using, like, you know, math.max, uh, apply so forth to actually pull the maximum value from th this array but in this case all we want to do is make a copy of it um, this is most helpful i'm trying to think of a use case for this this is most helpful when you're you have a piece of data and you want to make a copy of it and modify that copy you can just create an array too now we have a copy and then we could add like uh i don't know another so now you can see we have this original array and now we have a copy of it with some other value added to it right so this is a really easy way to just spread it put all of its data there and then just add another value so that's the most common use case at least in react i've seen uh, for spreading but quite quite literally just making a copy of something um, using that dot 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 syntax okay so that's all we have to do for this hope to see you guys in the next challenge